Hello and welcome to this new tutorial on EMGU CV. Today I am going to show you how we can extract contours of a binary object in using EMGU CV. The contours of an object basically represents the pixels around the boundary of an object. As we can see on the right image, these are the boundary pixels of the object on the left side. In EMGUC, we, we use the function find contours to obtain these contours and then we will use uh, draw contours function to draw these contours on a particular image. The parameters of the find contours function are the image which takes uh, which is taken as input. Remember that it is also the output image. So the input image is changed by the uh, may be changed by the find contours. So if you don't want to change the input image, you, you must remember to copy it into another variable before passing into the find contours method. The contours is an output array that contains information about the contours we obtained for that object. The hierarchy is the hierarchical information of the contours. Maybe some contours are contained inside other contours. So the hierarchy information in, uh, contains information about it. The retrieval type and its chain approximation method I'll show you in next slide. The point offset is uh, by default set to null. This is important in situations when we have to work on a subpart of an image. So after processing that subpart uh, of the image, we need to transform that in back into the original coordinate. So we need to add this uh, point offset to every point in the sub-image to get the original coordinates in the parent image. The, there are basically four retrieval modes. By retrieval modes, when we set it to external, then it will give only the extreme outermost contour of the object. In when we use the list, it retrieves all the contours. When we say connected component, it gives the two level uh, contours, the external and the internal. While the tree uh, constructs a full fledged contour with proper hierarchy. What does it mean is that if we have an object like this, if we binarize it and find the contours, and if we use the external, is the retrieval mode then it will give us the most external contour but if we use the list then it will give for example in this case it will have a contour inside as well so the list gives both information and connected component also gives us two levels the external and the internal while the tree will construct uh, all the contours uh, containing properly about an object so depending on the application and the need of your contours, you can use any of these uh, retrieval modes. As far as contour approximation is concerned, this is how the information about the contours is uh, encoded. If we use the chain code, then it uses the free main chain code to encode the information about the contours. While all other methods basically gives us a sequence of uh, vertices. For example, the chain approximate none will encode all of the points uh, obtained from the, uh, this find contours method. While if we use the chain approximate simple, it will uh, suppress the horizontal, vertical, and diagonal segments. What does it mean is, for example, if we have a rectangular object and if we find the contours, if we use chain approximate none, then it will give us all the contours along this line and also this line and all of them. But if we use the chain approximate simple, as you know that for a rectangular object, we may need only four points so that we can reconstruct that uh, those all points. So the simple, what it does, it suppresses all non-important points and it will keep only the important points along these corners so it is enough of theory now let's get jump into the code i have already created a project and I configured it to use emgucv 3.3 so if you don't know how to configure it you can check one of my previous videos now right click on the project Add and add a Windows form, and I call it form contours. 
and uh, I want to add few user interface elements I prefer to use the menu so let me drag and drop a menu strip and in here I will write a file and then open to open an image and then find contours you know to find the contours and I also need two uh, picture boxes one for the input image to display and another one is to display the output of our process that is the contours and let me design it quickly and just close that's enough right and click on this file double click on open and I can write the first thing that ever you need to do is to include this uh, emgucv.cv into your project so you, we do this by uh, using statement cv.structure these two are important for use and uh, let me create an image uh, variable here and just bgr with depth in bytes and I call it ing input to contain the input image and then use the ask the user to select an image by using open file dialog and create an object of the open file dialog and then check if the user has first show the dialog to the user and if uh, the user selects an image and it clicks OK then I'll be able to read the image selected by the user into ing input so how I do this is ing input equals new object of img and I pass the path of the image that is selected by the user and the last thing that I want to do is to display it in picture box one the image is equal to ing and since this is expecting a bitmap image so I need to convert it into bitmap that's it how we read the image now for the fine control double click on this menu strip the first thing that I need to do is to convert this uh, BGR image that I read into this ING input into a binary image. So I need to do some binarization of, uh, on it so that the fine contours gives me the contours of a binary image. So I will create a new image and uh, this is a great image in fact. It's byte ING, I call it output and uh, what I need to do is I need to convert this input image into a grayscale image so this is how we do it I still keep the uh, depth to be in bytes and then I want to perform a binarization that is I will use the threshold threshold and what I need to do is the meaning the, the threshold value that I want let's say 100 and uh, I should create the object for this gray structure and again I want the maximum to be 255 that is the intensity I want to replace with that's it so what it does is first we convert the BGR image into a gray image and then perform the uh, binary thresholding using this minimum value and it will be replaced with 255 the next thing that I want to do is uh, a placeholder for containing the contour information and this is done by emgucv.cv go to util I should have done it before a vector of vector of points I call them contours equals to new vector of vector of points. What does it actually mean? It's a wrapper for uh, open CV vector of vector of points. Basically, a contour uh, consists of a points 
and which are contained inside a vector. So the points in the form of a vector represents one contour. So for an image, we can have multiple contours. Therefore, we create another vector for vector of points. So that is what <laughs> the name actually refers to. So this contours is used to store the contours. And we also need, a, I'll create a net object to create the hierarchy. So new hierarchy. At the moment, I don't need to use this hierarchy. So let me call the function cv invoke dot find contours. And then I'll see this one is expecting an image. So I'll give img output. This is an image and the contours object that I have created as output and hier is also for containing the hierarchy information. Now the retrieval type I'm just using the external if you are interested in the only the external control as I have explained earlier and the chain code method that chain approximate method that I'm using is the simple one and that's it you don't need the other things so this so far we have done that we've called the find controls method we give the input the IMG output for which we want to find the contours and all information will be put into the contours variable that is a vector of vectors. Now I want to display those contours in my image. So I will use again cv invoke dot draw contours function. And this one is expecting an image. Let me draw it on the input image and the contours that we want to draw and this is contour uh, index means and we want to draw all contours then you should say minus one it means we are drawing all controls if you want particularly interested in drawing the first contour then you should say zero one two whatever so i want to draw all of the contours that's why i give it minus one and the color that you want to give let's say 255 zero zero that's it so I want to display that uh, image again in picture box too. So ing input dot image. Basically, we have done uh, the contour, found the contours, and this contours is the most important thing that gives information about the contours, and then we draw those contours onto image input again. So let us run and see the output. So I'll open an image, points.jpg, and then find contours. So you can see the contours displayed in blue color around these input images. Maybe um, I want to create a brand new image that is a black image, and I want to display those only the contours. So for clarification, I'll get out one I call it okay it's NGL equals new and its size width is same as of the input image height is same and then I set all those values pixels to zero and after finding the contours I am displaying or writing controls on this img out image and I want to see those in picture box too. So let me hit run. File, open an image and then find contours. Boom! So you can see that we use the find contours and all the contours for these coins have been displayed in a new image. I hope the video was useful for you and we will see you in next video.